In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to run the PH shot seams play out of tight offset tight end, how to utilize this to attack the seams in Madden 23. Now, if you want to get my entire tight offset offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is in the description down below. For just 10 bucks, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including our entire tight offset offensive ebook. So again, if you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below. We're going to be going over the play PA shot seams, and if you have a right-handed quarterback, you're going to run, want to run this play as is. If you have a left-handed quarterback, you're going to want to flip the play because you want that faster handoff animation. You, Whenever you're running a play-action play, you want to have your running back to the same side as your quarterback's throwing arm, and it's going to find you're going to find that it's going to create better uh, play-action animations for you. All right, so how do we run PA shot seams, especially in a way to attack both man coverage and zone coverage? And really, you all you have to do to run this play at a really high level is we're just going to drag or uh, this right side player. Now, you can streak him. Honestly, I feel like there's not a huge purpose to doing that. Um, I guess if in a roundabout way, it will help you attack uh, some zone coverages. But I feel like the the cons definitely outweigh the pros. So we're just going to drag or slant CeeDee Lamb. And it just gives us a check down read against man coverage if we don't like what we see. Now, speaking of man coverage, this is one of the best bomb routes against man coverage in Madden. It's this route to Christian Kirk. I'm in cover one, off band coverage. If you if you look at this, he's just going to get this really nice animation over the top of the man coverage and has a chance uh, to be able to literally destroy man coverage. Now, another way that you can run this play is you can just corner route CD Lamb and run it just like this. Um, we talked a little bit about that concept in yesterday's video. Or you could take C Lamb. You can just do a lot of different things. But I think the drag is really the most allows us to have uh, a little bit more versatility against man coverage, which obviously a lot of people this year are running some form uh, of man to man. Now, where this play really uh, another little method that you could, if you want to uh, run, is you could run a streak to or a, a wheel to the back and a little fade or a streak to the back in this example. So you see, it looks like this. This is also a really good way to, again, just attack the seams. This route to George Kittle is normally also pretty good against man. Um, obviously, George Kittle's not super fast, but if I was to flip this play and run it to Tyreek Hill, you'll see a lot of times he's actually going to light up against man coverage, passing that to the outside. Free, you can probably have to free form it, um, but that can also be another route for you uh, if you wanted to do something like this. This is still a really, really good setup. And again, just get this ball away from the defender kind of thing. So the where this play really shines, though, honestly, is against zone and specifically um, some type of, you know, cover two. People don't know what to really call, honestly, against tight. It ends up being a lot of stuff like this where you're getting kind of a double flat, uh, the user in the middle of the field. And when we put this guy on an in or a drag, this can kind of suck the user down in the middle of the field. If that's the case, then we can actually freeform this seam streak up against any kind of cover two defense. So that's why this route is so good um, and helps us to attack uh, the seams on this play. Now, another thing this does really good, specifically against cover two sets or cover two coverages, is let's say, for example, that that they're running that cover two, but they put somebody up the middle of the field to guard, um, you know, to guard the middle streak. This fade wheel, if you freeform this to the outside, can also destroy cover two. So this play really does a great job of attacking any kind of double Mabel that you're gonna get. There's a lot of different variations of double Mabel in this year's game, but they primarily are gonna revolve around two core things. You're either gonna get cover two or you're gonna get cover four, and in the cover four, they're gonna be dropping those outside guys into 30 yard clouds. Now, if you get kind of standard zone, like let's say just cover four drop with hard flats, that can give this play some kind of some trouble, uh, as you can see right there. That's why this route to CD Lamb I think is so important. And there's a lot of ways that you can run it. Again, this little motion slant 
can also be one of the best variations of this play. Notice how it just cooks man over the middle of the field. And it, the other thing that this can do is against like match. Sometimes this can dumb out match coverage completely. So you'll see here again, just a little motion out, got that slant, and then you got the tight end, you know, beating match coverage to that sideline, as you can see. The other thing with match coverage, and I didn't talk about this before, um, sometimes what can happen against match coverage is this fade on the left will just be wide open. Um, kind of like the man coverage thing where he'll like get this real glitchy pass off animation. That can happen in, against match on this play. Now again, this is not something we're going to call primarily if they're running a lot of cover four. Um, if they're running a lot of cover four, really we have other plays in this formation that are better against cover four. Okay. Um, if they are calling a lot of cover four and we want to run this play against it, my recommendation uh, really is to motion your running back to the right and then run that that flat wheel setup like this. Or you can just leave the out route that CeeDee Lamb's on and now we're able to attack the seams on really both sides of the field and you can you know maybe ag either side of the seams. That's something that I would recommend. So, like, if they're if we're really wanting to attack, you know, cover four, this guy right here is going to be kind of put in conflict because when we motion this back across, and you have to not put him on a streak, you have to because you see how he you see how he goes on that route. That's not what we want. What we want him to run is we want him to run that angled streak. Uh, and again, he's I guess he's not going to do it now that we put him on it. So we'll put him on a wheel. Uh, but what you'll see here is now he's going to get out in that little area. And then you can kind of put him in a little pocket just like that right there. So this play is great for attacking the seams, uh, which I think is super critical this year. You have to be able to have some plan uh, for how you're going to attack the street, the seam routes. I think this year, I think it's one of the most important uh, things and, and real questions that you have to answer. Again, here's this route to the back again. You see how, see how he's just going to kind of get in this little soft spot you know, against zone coverage, and then you also have the backside. Now, tomorrow we're going to talk about a, a concept that is also going to kind of attack this cover four uh, or cover three shaded down zone a little bit more. Um, you got to understand that if they're playing cover three, they're also going to have like these seams are going to be open because they they have to take away the corner routes, and that's the best way to do it. So even just putting the running back on a streak out of this look. It's still really good because you see how the zones are going to just drift away from the running back and we can check it down to him. So utilizing your running back in a strategic way is really, really important. Uh, this year, another little setup just for fun is we're going to drag our tight end. We're going to motion that running back over and we're going to put him on a streak. So you see here again, now we get that same kind of deal. We're putting that linebacker uh, in conflict in the middle of the field. And if the user runs down to the drag, we can throw the running back. If the user runs the running back, then we're probably going to have the drag route. We also have streaks on both sides that are really good at attacking cover two and any kind of double Mabel set. So that's the seams concept uh, out of it. A couple different ways to run it. Uh, and it's really one of the best concepts, I think, in the entire game, especially uh, because it's going to be hard for them to run any kind of off-coverage man because of how bad the locomotion is this year against this. This just destroys off coverage, man, as you can see right here. So, if you want to get the rest of my tight offset ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. The link is down in the description below.